Hi everybody, welcome back to DSX, and uh, we have three choices to go through now, if you missed out. Uh, do we want to help uh, a benevolent AI, do we, or do we want to help out the benevolent uh, Illuminati take over the world, or do we want to help uh, Tongue out, destroy out, destroy the communications hub and take over, well, like it won't take over anything, but it'll, it'll turn into Dark Ages. It let me through. I can't believe it. Paul, where are you? What do you mean, it? Helios. It's taken over Aquinas. Now it's everywhere. In Hong Kong, it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of. What's going on? The AI wants to merge with my brain or something. Does it really think it can take over the world? It's decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so it can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism, a corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we could trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch beat. I'm much better. Yes, I'm gonna make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. Alright, that hologram is incredibly creepy. His eyes were huge, and you can see like his teeth through the fucking uh, thing. I get it's the transparency and stuff, but yeah, it's uh, kind of funny. Alright, so Helios is doing what he's kind of uh, promised to do. He's, he's bringing order to the world, uh, and stuff like that, so... What's the rush? Take a look around. This facility is where you were born. I've arranged an appropriate fate for you through the hallway to the north. A poetic death. <laughs> Just a few yards away from where you were created. Ah, uh, this is where I was, uh... This is where I was created. There was a, there was like a Nick Denton. Or something. This guy. Alex Denton, sorry. So there's another Denton. I guess I have another brother or something. Alright, so yeah, um, on that subject, so... What do I think of each of the endings, necessarily? Uh... Well, there's the... Illuminati one, and that's basically like... That only lasts for, like, it's basically like, you know, the, the transfer of power goes to another human entity, essentially. And I don't like the prospect of that ending, because... I mean... We could be good, like our, our Illumini, uh, Illuminati could be good. Maybe maybe we have, you know, the best interests of mind uh, of the people. But you know, eventually someone will maybe be in power. Like that's not forever. Maybe someone will come into power, you know, in like a hundred years, two hundred years, who knows? And misuse the powers and abuse them, kind of thing, for their own means. So that is definitely not what I would say is a good ending. And then there's the. Tra uh, the Tracer Tongue ending, where everything goes into uh, Dark Ages kind of thing. But then, you know, then the problem becomes something different. Fuck. Alright. We gotta look at what he's got here. Multi tool. Uh, and then the thing is, it doesn't actually solve the problem because at some point we're gonna restore the. Okay. Well, it's not even my enemy anyway, so who cares. Uh, at some point, we're going to basically become technologically evolved again, and guess what? Same problems all over again. So his ending is not a real good ending either. Uh, and so I... What I think is the best ending in this game is the Helios ending. Definitely for sure. Environmental generators offline. Okay. Man. There's no reason I have for being here, so... Oh well. So, yeah, I definitely think the best ending is the Helios ending. Uh, 
by a long shot. And like that's 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 kind of I like the whole like idea of like technocracy and things like that, you know. Because you know human beings are imperfect and they're you know whatever. Uh, what do we use for the password here? Who knows? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think I have it actually. Definitely something over your fail safe. All right. Actually, I think I was able to maybe go through the uh, gates there. Although maybe one of these computers has a password on it. Who knows? So that would be my personal choice. I, it's what I did in my original playthrough of this game that I did on YouTube. And to be honest, it's it's honestly it's the one I do every time, almost. I have I actually have to usually force myself to do another ending, and the, there's only one other ending I've ever seen. And that that would be the ending with the. Uh, uh, I guess, uh, oh yeah, we, we turn out the envi environmental generators, or... Dangerous protecting himself with a plasma force field. The controls are locked. You will have to eliminate each power source individually. Bring down the four blue fusion reactors in Sector 4, then go to the control room on the upper level. Hey JC, if you want to do what Everett says, you'll need the deactivation code. I decrypted the first three digits before Paige killed my connection. 724. Sorry, you'll have to guess the last digit or find it on your own. So that you'll know what you're looking for, I'm transmitting a schematic of one of the devices. Good luck. Alright, what's this one? Ah, those are fusion reactors. Oh, this kind of just goes back here. What? Oh. What was the, uh, what was that log I just got there? Devactuation code for the password, so we don't know what the last one is. Let me just go back there, because I didn't actually have a quite good of a look at it. Uh, so yeah, so we apparently have to go back and then deactivate that if, that if we want to do that ending. Or we shut down the reactors, or we do. So I've done the shut down the reactors one. There's no cutscene, there's nothing at the very end. It's kind of just meh. Uh, I, I love the Aquarius ending. Or sorry, well not, well they've... Uh, uh, actually wait, she has a key. Lab exit key, okay. Okay, this is a very slow door. It's it's kind of it's kind of interesting. As I said, it is my favorite ending. So, um, but we're not going to be doing that today. The the merge with the AI one, because as, as I said, I've already done it in my last playthrough, so no point in doing that. And we've already seen all these. There's a ton of them. What's in here? Absolutely nothing of any importance. Oh, it's Bob Page. You're too late. Already I'm more than human. Does that mean I don't get the job? Soon I will be pure light. Pure energy. Helios and I... <laughs> While the Illuminati cower in the shadows... You will be the Supreme Enlightened, the Illuminated One. Everett has taught you well. I will be what the Illuminati aspire to be, but cannot create for themselves soon. When my augmented systems like yours are complete and able to be integrated with Helios, I will burn like the brightest star. You're gonna burn, all right. Look at you. You're nothing but a little man. A little man still living inside a body. Lose your body and what are you? Nothing. You vanish. You Die. Ignore Paige. He will die when we blow up the facility. Your only objective is to find the controls for the reactor's cooling system. We must be sure that the monstrosity Paige has made it himself is not technologically feasible for future generations. You, okay, here's UC control, but we can just open that with a lamb. Grenades were incredibly useful, and I also was able to jump on that. Alright. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I what am I actually doing right now? So uh here's your three, so Alright, well, I mean I guess there's no mystery what I'm gonna be doing anymore. As I said, not doing the Helios one again, even though it would be the one I would love doing the most, it is my favorite ending. We're not doing that. Soon I will leave this body and death will have no meaning. 
So there's that ending. Then there's the uh, other ending with the um, with Tong, and that one, that one's actually pretty boring as shit. So you guys kind of don't want to see that. You can see it on YouTube. There's like literally nothing happens. So there's only one I haven't done yet, and that is the Illuminati ending, which is gonna be new for me. So it's basically like blind. Oh god. You can forget about the Eagles, the Aquinas Router control. Yeah, I forgot about the Eagles there. Oh shit, I'm all the way back here. I try this one more time. I, I I thought I was far enough away. That's far enough. I would like to use this, but. You can forget about Helios. The Aquinas Router control room will remain locked until my upgrades are complete. I have my own plans for the AI. Back here, you asshole. That's one of the blue fusion reactors. We need to shut down Wolf. So yes, we are going for the uh the ending over here. Uh do we know what the ending is here? Uh sorry, do we know what the okay. Seven two four something. Seven two four six? No. Seven two four I right, well let's look around for a fucking password, I don't care. Or if we just hack them the regular way. I mean, it's only 1 in 10, but I'm not going to try every single scenario. I'm lazy. Oh, what the hell is this? Rockets and more rockets. Hey, there's swimming. Oops, whoa. You can't shoot your way out of this one. My UCs can assemble new creatures in seconds. What are we doing down here, I wonder? Well, might as well. I have no idea where we are right now. Okay, well, we'll just go... Let's go see what's at the bottom of this guy, actually. Something down there. We don't need a rebreather. There's a rocket launcher here. Alright. Oh, well, that's it for this place. Good thing I got all those swimming uh, upgrades. It actually, it actually was pretty good. The upgrades for that. So, oh, yeah, I see this guy died here. Then he's got the, the goggles. Let's see what's down there. Maybe I don't really see anything. But I feel like we need to go here anyways. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right, yeah, fuck that. All right, let's just get out of there and, uh... So I was by the blue reactors, but now I'm just like, whatever. Uh... You fucking had a Trank Dun gun? A uh, Trank Dart, whatever? Uh, maybe we need to... We have two tech goggles? Okay. We have a bit of a problem. Where'd he go? Alright, we're just letting that kick in. Alright, I actually didn't want to go here. Because as I said, we're doing the Illuminati ending. I know, I know some of you may hate it or be disappointed, but I've just never seen it, so I would like to see it. Let's get the fuck out of here. The reactor's coolants run through this facility. Cut the flow, then return to the reactor lab to initiate a meltdown. Boy, well, this place sky high. You might get rid of me, but you'll take down Aquinas, the power grid, the whole electronic infrastructure. Is that what you want? Are you completely nuts? Let's see if I can turn on these things. Activate security bot. There you go. Yeah, he's just generating new shit for, for me all the time. Okay, that guy fucking rammed me and kicked my ass.
There's another. Yeah, there's somewhere over there. Target acquired. Luckily, the bot's helping me out here. Kind of need you to give me more energy. Okay, apparently you're just, we're just gonna have to do that for now. Let's uh, let's open up this UC control room. Well, we're gonna have to blow it open. Just a little bit further away from the bots, hopefully. Yeah, figured that would actually be the case. That's a lot of things. I actually didn't pay attention to that the first time I was there, but that's okay, because we unlocked it now. See what's in the little ventilation duct over here. So, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'll see where the actual password is, or maybe I'll just try it, because as I said, it's only one of ten combinations. Kinda. Six, seven, f oh wait. Page restricts the access to those carriers, subrouter, they get away. Okay, well, there's not much there. Those are some passwords to the Aquinas hub. Uh, don't really need to go there. We know where the blue things are, we just, uh, we're just trying to shut them off now. I think, was, I think you said there's four of them? We'll all have a look at that. Hey, there's Grace here. Or, I like to call them sniper practice. Let me back in. I didn't mean it. Got another place over here with something I can blow up. I'm just exploring around, kind of thing. We're, we're, we're having a good time. Ow. Bioelectric cell. It's like I said, it's not an ending I would typically go for, but it's the one I'm going to be going for. Alright, you know what? I think I've had enough. Do we do we do we even care to guess it? I'm just gonna try it. Seven two four. Okay, I don't even know what it is. Fuck this shit. I have fucking twenty multi tools. Okay, I just don't care. This is the Mike Lai stuff giving a fuck. Oh. Uh. Let's see what's on here. Icarus, no. Hey, we can go here. Uh. Some routers, so. Oh, there's another one there. Oh shit. No, Gray, please. Alright, let's uh, turn on... I apparently no longer have access to my thing, which is, would let me environmentally go up here. Okay, we will need that. Let's do two picks, or... this thing. Alright. Hack the lo door lock on the coolant system. Alright. Take this radioactive... Fuck. I-I-I, by the way, I'm- I'm taking radiation damage because specifically I'm carrying it. Surely that will have what I want. What the fuck? Okay, I blew up instantly. Napalm kind of started weapon modification recoil. A little bit late for weapon modifications, but that's fine. Uh, maybe this hit will have it. Oh, come on, they somewhere have to. Okay, sector four. Rebreather, of course. That's what exactly what I need at this point. I want to get over there and I want to hack that terminal, but kind of need some better tools for that. I mean, I got some augmentations for it, but I kind of wish I brought along a 
something to help me uh, survive the radiation. We may have to just man mode through it, guys. There's a thing, Tong. Oh, hey. Sweet. You see, Tong, I help you, nothing really changes. That's the problem. That's why your suggestion is crap. But A for effort, though. Uh. You'll make a nice meal for a Karkian. Well, it's nice to know. Uh, now I'm lost and I want to go back up to the other place. I jumped on two, I jumped on two little great things. That's how I got there. Can we please? Yeah, I was down there, I think. Alright, fuck it, we'll just jump down there again. Alright, there we go. Alright. Hopefully we'll live through this. Hoping a little bit more. Okay, do we have a medkit? That would be nice if we could use it. Fine. What do you want? Money? You can have Versalite, the whole damn company. Power? I'll get you on Mead's cabinet. I'm serious. Just forget about that last reactor. I've never I've never heard him say this, and also I have absolutely no idea where the reactors are, I should mention. Well, I think I found the last one. I'm just kind of going by whatever. I'm just kind of discovering them on my own, I guess. I don't know if the revision mod changes were there, but it's kind of fun. He's ours. We did it, JC. All you have to do is go to the control room. That's his, uh... So now he's trying to, now he's trying to uh, bargain with me. After being a dick to me the entire game, he thinks he's gonna bargain with me. I guess there, I guess the only way you get back up is if you kind of go through up, up this area. No bargaining to be done here. Alright. So now we gotta go up to bring down the fusion reactor and go into Beige's bunker, then go to the infusion control room and cut power to his defenses. Alright. You can still hear them back there. Uh, uh, we need to get up to the top. And ironically, the best place to do that is actually through the elevator that I saw over here. That actually brought me back up to him. At least this way I don't have to... Uh, Go through that room that's that's like poisoned or whatever the hell. Oh, we don't want to go here actually. Down here we want to go. Fusion control. Oh, that energy regen is very nice. Or health regen. All right, we go into here now. I trust you've been able to find yourself a place within the organization? I'm personally overseeing the distribution of the vaccine, but it'll still take months to restore the infrastructure. We'll have to arrange for additional food distribution and security in Paris. Maybe New York as well. All through the proper intermediaries, of course. Intermediaries? We have a great number of agencies who in turn operate other agencies. Boxes stacked one in another. They'll need to be reactivated, but we never touch anything directly. We only influence, suggest, insinuate. The world must know by now, Everett. What we've done. Know what? 
only that the long night is over. The crown of government is tarnished, but that will fade in time. The riots, a fever dream. The plague, a horrible nightmare. And like everything else that's happened, such things will only be dimly remembered upon waking to their normal lives. In the end, all sins are forgiven, even yours. What about the Constructor and Helios? Do you really think they're ready for that? After everything you've seen, everything you've done? No. Not yet. But soon, we have made our own mistakes, became insulated from the world we sought to control. And whatever they may think, the night is far from over. But that will change, and you will help us change even as we teach you. This time, this time, we will do it right. And who are we? Who are we really? We are the Invisible Hand. We are the Illuminati. We come before and after. We are forever. And eventually, eventually, we will lead them into the day. Oh, well, that's it for that. Not an ending I would typically choose. It was okay. Better, I think it's better than Tongue's ending, but not definitely not as good as the uh, Helios ending. So here we go. That was uh, Deus Ex Revision mod, so... This is two parts of my thoughts. Uh, the first one was on um, just Deus Ex itself. Still a wonderful game. Deus Ex is just great. I mean, I, I think it's funny because every time I replay it, it gets a little... I, I feel like... Uh, the events are are a little bit more like what we have today. Every every time I play, like every every five years or whatever, I'm like, hey, we're getting closer to this kind of uh, a reality of a world or whatever. So it's 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 really interesting how the game itself is just becoming like a crystal ball, <laughs> like all the same issues with government and stuff like that and surveillance and whatever, you know. Interesting, interesting stuff. Um, but it's already, it's a classic game, so not much else to say about that, love it. Um, I, I as for my own playthrough, I guess I didn't, I, like, I started this, I was kind of like, oh, I'll try a stealth playthrough, fuck, that's hard, man. I didn't, I just didn't, I've never tried a stealth playthrough, and, uh, I didn't realize how difficult it would be, so. Uh, it definitely made me think about some, like, that's, you, I, I gotta give it to anybody who actually is able to complete it, doing the stealth. It's exactly the way that the, sorry, the non-lethal stealth sort of stuff. Um, I gotta hand it to anybody who does it, yeah. If you actually finish a game with, like, doing non-lethal or whatever, that is one hell of an achievement. That's ridiculous. That's, hats off to you. It's just the way it should be, which is extremely difficult. Um, so, I mean, as I said, I started that. I, I wasn't happy with the fact I missed a couple things, and I realized it after, but it's, it's been so long since I played the game, so... Uh, I mean, that's why I lost. I, 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 I was just remembering stuff and some things were like changed around just because it was revision mod after all. So, uh, um, after the, uh, for the mod itself, um, I liked it. It was still, it was pretty good. It would not be something I suggest for anyone's first run through. I think it's one of those things that like, if you really like the game, you, you play it with the, the revision mod on and you get kind of like, uh, like all the little like the, I like the bio mod and the uh, shifter stuff as well. That, that stuff was pretty good. Although it had its own problems, but we're, we're going to get to that. Um, so, for the revision mod itself, the open areas and stuff, it was overall, I would say, pretty good. Um, I had a couple of, like, sometimes things became a little bit larger for no reason. There was nothing there. Things became more spread out, and there was nothing in between, I would say. Uh, like... It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's just like it's the core part. It's the core aspects of the game, and sometimes they're just spread out. And I, I remember someone saying like they liked Hong Kong better because it was um, bigger, and Hong Kong wasn't normally that large. So it actually made you feel like it was an actual kind of like larger city. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of that per se because there's a lot of dead end areas you would just avoid. And you just have to know that nothing's there, the doors don't open, they don't do anything at all. Um, that that wasn't exactly the best. Uh, like, it's just unnecessary to add that much. I like the switching around, I like the graphics updates, I like the... 
I like the new level design sometimes. Uh, the, the, it, the only time it was kind of, I didn't like it was, as I said, when we were walking around the city getting lost and things like that. Um, particularly in Hong Kong, the trying to find stuff wasn't exactly the most clear to me. I mean, I guess the map may have shown it better. Uh, I wasn't really looking at that, I think, but I, well, I was just trying to exploring it at the time. But it was kind of, it was kind of interesting though. Uh, but the, the mod, the revision mod is overall pretty good, I would say. It's still, it's still really nice. Uh, it's one of those things that I would, I would play it again. The thing I think I like about, the best about this is those, um, they yeah, those, those mutators or something, um, for a new run. So you can have like half your inventory or some other weird things. I think that's actually a great selling point. Especially like if, uh, for myself, like for me, I had way too much inventory space given the kind of playthrough I was doing. So I could have definitely put that into half and then I would have made some tough decisions there. Uh, I also really, really, really like the rebalanced augmentations. Uh, that one was really great. Like the uh, athletics was really good, opposed to the, the dumbass uh, swimming one. It, nobody ever got the swimming one, but the athletics ones, uh, the athletic one incorporated running speed and like jumping, which I wasn't sure how that worked also, by the way. I'll get to that in a bit, uh, but I really liked the changes to that. It was, it was excellent. Uh, so I actually did a playthrough where I didn't go heavy weapons, because usually that's all I do is I just go like heavy weapons, fill up my inventory to the brim with what, all kinds of sniper rifles and guns and and, ha and just knock myself out. Uh, so I did I did still do snipers and stuff, but I, I didn't go any, any beyond that. Uh, so that was really good. Um, that was excellent, actually. I would say that I probably wasted my time with the pistol upgrades. Um, I did pistols and I regretted it immediately. Pretty much it was just... Um, they're good. They're basically... That's like the non-lethal path, I'll tell you. It's... That's it. Like, you don't get that many more pistols. Um, I mean, you, I got the Lo Bruto, which was the, the special one from uh, the guy in New York. Um, I mean, they did make low-tech actually mean something. Oh yeah, the, the low tech, uh, that that riot prod, the special riot prod that I had, uh, that one was really good because that would actually make non-lethal a whole lot more bearable. Because before it'd be like you, you're hitting them with like the, the the crappy riot prod. It's like, uh. so some of it's some of it was really great. The the upgrades. I think that, as I said, I, I think low tech didn't necessarily need to be upgraded, but um, they still made it kind of worthwhile, especially if you go uh, non-lethal. I guess pistol would be also the non-lethal run as well, because then that works with the crossbow. Uh, so that's that's it for that. Um, the rest, uh, so okay, so the actual shifter mod and bio mod. Um, so bio mod is the one that changed the augmentations and rebalanced them. So I think, I'm pretty sure that was the one that allowed me to have uh, a bunch of passive uh, augmentations that are on all the time, but don't drain any energy. Uh, that really made a lot of the augmentations much more bearable. Because uh, you wouldn't just flip these on and off. But one could probably argue that it's not necessarily true to the game where you're like, you know, uh, it, it makes it easier kind of thing. Because you're not, you don't have to shuffle through them and things like that. So uh, there's definitely an argument there to be had. Because like the health regeneration just happened all the time. Uh, I know one of the descriptions was was really bad for the uh, for the health regeneration one. Actually, it actually did raise your health. Uh, didn't tell me that, so I didn't actually really go for it. Uh, still, really, really OP, but it was nerfed a little bit. So, the, the, it's the delay that makes it like probably a little bit better now uh, in terms of the balancing. But I still think it's like definitely overpowered as shit compared to the other uh, option. So, it's not totally rebalanced, but it's pretty close. I'd say. I mean, I guess I really need that health regen by the end of the game. I mean, what, what was even the other option? Like, it was like, uh, I don't even remember. But it was definitely just trash compared to the other one, or the other option that you had. So, there's that. Um, the the shifter, which added all the unique weapons. Uh, I mean, it was neat, but from this, ge this gameplay perspective, I didn't like it being there because it was, it was just like... Fine, there's weapons scattered all over the place, but I was I was holding on to weapon upgrades, which frustrated some people, because I was anticipating certain weapons. Because um, I saw a few already, so I'm like, there has to be a unique variant of 
you know, the sniper rifle, there has to be a unique variant of the assault rifle. They were always kind of putting your path, I noticed. I don't think I missed any, because I was pretty thorough in exploring, I'd say. Uh, so, I think I got all of them. I'm not sure. There may have been another nano sword variation. Maybe, because I, I don't think the main nano sword I had had another variation to it. But uh, that's just one of those interesting things. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's like, yeah. So, Shifter I could have done without. Biomod was amazing. Would install that again. Uh, the revision mod as a whole, as I said, was pretty good, but I would not, uh, I would never suggest that to someone who has never played the game before, because I would, I would feel they would need like a vanilla experience to understand what was redone. Some things I wasn't a big fan of uh, with revision, with, with, with when they mixed up the switches, that that I forgot what level that, that was. The that was the submarine base, the submarine base, yeah. Uh, no, no, the, well, the underground one, the when we were actually deep underwater. That one was like, the switches were on like the con their computers on the side. I totally didn't see it in the mess of like the decals and stuff in the, um, whatever, the environment. I, I, I missed them in the environment there. I just, I couldn't see them. And I actually walked around for like about two minutes. So the minute I figured out like, oh, there's a new rule. Like the switches can be on like a slant and not directly beside the door. I'm like, oh, okay. I got, I got to look for that. So. You can kind of get lost sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, and also the catacombs leaving through the, uh, uh, leaving through that kind of slightly exploded wall. As I said, it's just like a rule in the game that we've never had to deal with before. I would have appreciated that more as like a secret rather than a you actually need to do it to progress. Uh, you know, you could have done a lot of things like had it behind like a locked door, and then you could get through the, the past the locked door by exploding the wall. I was just completely confused at. Uh, things like that, you know, that they did. Paris was really nice when it was redone. I Actually, I think a lot of the towns like New York, Paris, were really nice when they were redone. Um, I mean, even though there was some issues with, as I said, just there's everything was too spread out kind of thing. Like, clearly they were larger, so there was a whole lot of nothing in between. Uh, that was kind of an issue. The music had its ups and downs, I'd say, as well. Um, just, you know, I, I guess you just can't really beat the classics uh, with, with this, with the, like, the Hong Kong theme and stuff like that. Uh, like, everybody remembers, like, a Hong Kong theme. So it's kind of sad that that wasn't up to uh, what I expected it to be. But there were some songs in the game that I just didn't think were memorable that actually were pretty good in the revision mod. So, uh, it's, it's uh, as I said, you're getting a mixed bag. Uh, is, is it overall better? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably, just not Hong Kong and not the New York bar music. I actually really like those two. So they weren't really, in those cases, I guess you can't really you can't really work up from there. You gotta, it goes down kind of thing. So, uh, I mean, you can remove it uh, as, as I was told, but you know, I, I was trying to get most of the mods default kind of settings in, you know? So, I mean, we have bio mod, normal shifter, yeah. So we're not allowed to play without Shifter, I guess. Because I was playing with Bot Biomod the entire time. Oh yeah, I turned off New Game Plus. I just, uh... I decided not to do that. No no real point in me doing that, so... Uh... Yeah, so... I, I, I overall think... I, I like the idea of this revision mod, and I would hope that, like, this kind of thing happens to a lot of classic games, because it's one of those things, like, you play through Day 6 so many times, you know, have like a fresh playthrough of like things kind of switched around maybe on you and things like that. Same story, same objectives, but you know, things are in maybe different places. It make, maybe it makes you think a little bit differently. I mean, it must be difficult for the guys who made this to like actually try to improve upon what is deemed as a classic game uh, in, in its own right. But uh, I, as I said, I overall really liked it. Uh, I, I would, as I said, if you've played DSX before, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so I don't think I have much more to say on this matter. Um, I guess in another five years I'll maybe visit another Deus Ex mod, but uh, thank you uh, everyone very much for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, so and I hope you enjoyed watching it, so uh, take care and I'll see you for what I do next time. Goodbye.